Welcome to the Fun Going Fast channel. I had a viewer ask me if I could post a video on the safety gear that I wear when I ride. So I thought I'd do a quick video on this. So this is for sport quad riding. Of course there are different things you can wear uh, and people that are racing may wear specific things. So this is not specific advice, but this is what I wear when I choose to ride. And I've not had any really bad crashes, but I've had some spills and the gears definitely helped me. So I thought I'd do a quick review. So let's get started. We'll work our way up from the bottom of our feet up to the top of our head. So first off with the feet, I highly recommend, highly recommend some riding boots. These can be found anywhere between a hundred bucks to a thousand dollars, but just get a good pair even if you get them used. I uh, found that they fit if you ski, they fit like ski boots. They really protect your ankle, but they go up pretty far almost to the knee, so highly recommended. And I would recommend trying them on before you buy them. They seem to me to run about a size bigger than what you wear. So I wear a 10 and I had to buy 11s. But highly recommended for a very first part of starting for safety. These are my muck boots. I wear these if I'm doing more like utility or four by four riding. I'm not riding as fast jumping. I just want something waterproof. But if I'm sport quad riding, I've got these guys on and they do sell uh, motocross socks. So as you can see, these are pretty long. You can wear ankle socks or whatever, but you're going to get pretty dirty and you're going to sweat. So these guys actually do pretty well. Uh, so you can get riding socks and highly recommend those. Let's go to the pants, uh, motocross pants. You can kind of tell they have a little bit of a natural bend because obviously most of our riding is done sitting and even we're standing, it's in more of a crouch position. So these naturally fit that way. And these uh, patches aren't just for decoration. This reinforces the knee. There's a knee pad in there. This does some protection on the side for your thighs. It's reinforced on the back. Also helps you from being saddle sore and it actually helps you with grip on the seat. Make sure you put your hip pads in. I know people that wear the crap. The pants, they don't put their hip pads in, which is sort of pointless, so put the hip pads in. Uh, so motocross pants. Again, brand new, 80, 100, $150. I think I got these for 20 bucks used on eBay. So, and I have new ones too. So again, a good purchase. Uh, moving on up, motocross jersey. This is just more for comfort. I'll talk about the safety stuff here in a second, but as far as the jersey, when you buy a dedicated motocross jersey, usually it's got a mesh to it, so it's breathable. So even though it's long sleeve, you're not gonna get too sweaty. You got good coverage. Even if uh, you don't wear full padded gear and you take a crash and you're short sleeved, your skin's gonna shred a lot quicker when it's bare. Uh, the other thing is actually, I've got just bought this big case from Lowe's Hardware and I keep everything in that case. Before I did that, I would always forget something. And if I, especially if I had somebody going with me, I would forget the extra thing for them. So I keep all my riding gear, my GoPro attachments, a uh, couple of tools like my chain cleaner all in this case so I can just grab it and go and that helps a lot. So underneath the jersey, you're going to want to wear some protection. Uh, roost guards or chest protectors. This is my Fox roost guard. I bought this thing when I started riding in like 2013 and it's held up for a long time. Kind of a pro tip. I would, if you can, wear like a, a breathable shirt, then this, then your jersey. If you don't, as you can see, it can get pretty dirty and they're a pain in the butt to clean off. Whereas this guy, this has the full padding and I've only ever worn it under a jersey and you can see how much cleaner it is. These are awesome. I mean, it's got back protection, shoulder and arms. The only bad thing about these in the summer, uh, wearing like a shirt under this and this in a jersey, if it's 80, 90 degrees, that's just about too hot for me. So in the summer, I wear this. In the colder time, I wear this. And I do have elbow pads that I can wear too if I'm going for this and it's not too hot. So definitely recommend a roost guard or chest protector. I mean, you, again, you can find these anywhere between $80 and $1,000 between depending on what you buy, but just get some basic safety stuff. And as far as gloves, uh, for me, gloves are a must. I never ride without gloves. One is it kind of helps you with your grip and keeps you from getting calluses. But also, again, if you fall, you're probably going to put your hands out first. That's going to be your first point of contact. And gloves, again, can keep you from just having some scrapes to maybe getting stitches. And really nice gloves are all of $30. Uh, I'd forgot my gloves one time and picked these up for like $20, $18 and they are terrible. They're too thin. 
they have a little bit of a grip but they suck to be honest whereas this is the exact same brand so i'm not putting thor down but these were nicer i think these were 30 and it's a it's a different whole different ball game they're so much more comfortable and have much more padding so highly recommend splurging spend an extra five dollars and get some good gloves and of course your helmet get a good helmet again helmets are anywhere between Gosh, you can get a cheap $60 helmet. I don't know how good they are all weekend, all the way up to $1,000. These are the Fox, this was a V1, so it was 150 bucks at the time new, but really nice helmet, super comfortable. Uh, it's got a nice open area for goggles. Make sure you keep that in mind when you and try it on. Um, Cause again, the sizing really runs differently based on the manufacturer. I usually wear a large, but I've even seen a, a medium in some things that would fit me. And keep an eye on the opening. I bought a fly racing helmet one time and it had a really small goggle area. So then I had to buy the fly racing goggles I bought to match it wouldn't work. I had to buy some smaller Fox goggles. So these are nice enough to have big enough an area. It doesn't matter. And definitely, definitely wear goggles. Gosh, make sure you wear some eye protection. That's huge. And goggles, plus if you're following behind anybody and it's dusty, goggles basically make your eyes completely resistant to the dust. You got this nice foam cover, so no dust gets into your eyes whatsoever. So that's awesome. And these are my first set of tinted goggles. And usually I ride on nice days and I don't really do any night riding. So I haven't had any problems with visibility. It's cut down on the glare and that's been really nice. So highly recommended. Clean them after you use them. And then when you store them, keep them in their soft bag that they come in to keep them from getting scratched. Most goggles you can replace the cover on them, but I still recommend keeping them in the bag if you can. So that's a really quick brief overview of what I wear when I ride. And it's worked pretty well for me through the years. And again, you can kind of put these things together, buy them used if you need to, or buy fancy new stuff, make it match your quad, whatever you want to do. But definitely invest in the safety gear. Uh, it'll be well worth it. I've, had, I've got a friend that actually two years in a row, he rolled four wheelers was a newer rider and he didn't have any safety gear on besides a helmet and he broke a rib both times and they were both kind of low speed crashes but the way he hit one day he ran first crash he hit like a root coming up out of the ground really bad luck and then the very next year in a different place he was doing donuts in a parking lot and fell on these huge rocks and broke his ribs before we even started riding and if he would have had a good protector on that covered his ribs he just would have fallen over maybe had some bruises maybe even nothing so i can't recommend safety gear enough so get out there and ride and enjoy it but make sure you dress up appropriately thanks for watching